Oh, hi. Uh, in my previous video, I have shown you a working example of autopilot based flight controller connecting to the ground station through a Raspberry Pi and telemetry radio antennas. Now, there I have only shown you that it's working and it's possible. And in this video, I will try to show you uh, how this is being done. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I have shown how to install uh, Raspberry and onto Raspberry Pi and to install uh, MapLink and MapProxy using a virtual environment. So you can go to the particular video and see how that part is done. And here I assume that that is being done and uh, I will show you how the commands are being used to uh, get this connection going. Uh, so I have my ground controller. So this laptop that I'm working on is my ground controller. And to my ground controller, I have connected a telemetry radio, SIK telemetry radio, this one that is being connected using a USB Type-C cable. Uh, sorry, it's not Type-C cable. It's a uh, USB mini cable. Uh, and then I have my Raspberry Pi, which goes on top of the uh, flight control. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this goes on top of the drone. Uh, and uh, this will be connecting to the flight controller, this flight controller, which controls the drone. So drone is nothing without this flight controller. Drone is just a structure without this flight controller. So this flight controller is the one which is connecting, uh, so, uh, which is controlling the drone. And this is the other telemetry radio antenna, which is connected to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this antenna will be communicating with the antenna of the uh, ground station. Right. So these are working at 433 megahertz in the country that I'm living in, but for different countries, the frequencies can be different. Uh, so that is about the hardware that we are going to require. So we need the uh, ground station laptop that should be able to run Q ground control application or uh, the mission planner. And uh, then it should be connected to a SIK telemetry radio using uh, a USB cable, so USB to USB mini. And then uh, we need a Raspberry Pi antenna and the flight controller is Polybro flight controller. So that is uh, that runs uh, Arduino inside it. And of course, another uh, SIK telemetry radio antenna. And I will show you now how the configuration of the Raspberry Pi side being done. So for that, I have to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm, I, I don't have a direct physical connection to the Raspberry Pi. So I have to connect to the Raspberry Pi through the network. So because of that, I'm connecting my Raspberry Pi to my local network. And through the local network, I'm logging into it using uh, VNC server and VNC Weaver, right? Uh, so VNC server should be run inside the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so that is easy to find, so you can find how to do it, or else uh, I will, in my description, I, I may post some information uh, regarding how to uh, get the VNC server and the VNC Weaver running to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so let me share my screen. Just give me a second screens. Yeah, so this is my screen. So I have my uh, Q ground control application running and I will go on to the VNC Weaver from my end. I have the VNC Weaver in the Raspberry Pi it's running the VNC server. So I already have this running, so I will stop that.
Uh, so here in the Raspberry Pi, I have to get on to my virtual environment. So I have explained how the virtual environment to be created in my previous video. And the MavLink and MavProxy is installed in the virtual environment. Uh, so they are not installed globally. So th those are installed in the virtual environment. So I have my virtual environment named Drone Swarm. So now I am inside the virtual environment. I have activated the virtual environment. So in the virtual environment, I have to write this command. So I'm running my MavProxy. So for my MavProxy, I give few parameters. The first parameter here is this slash dev slash tty acm1 is the connection to the flight controller. So my Raspberry Pi's connection to the flight controller is this tty acm1. And the board rate, board rate is standard, that's uh, 57,600. And then the next one, this slash div slash TTY USB one is my connection to the telemetry antenna. Uh, so both these, this uh, TTY ACM one and TTY USB one can be found by a simple command. Uh, now, for example, if I type this, uh, list slash dev slash uh, tty usb so it will list the all the usb connections so i have this slash dev slash tty usb one connection though that is my usb connection to the uh telemetry radio and if i give this slash dev slash tty star then i have a list of these connections so these two are the ones which corresponds to Sorry, these ones, this ACM1 and ACM2 are the ones which correspond to my flight controller's connection. So if you want to uh, find this out, if you don't know uh, how to find, just type this command before connecting the flight controller and type it after connecting the flight controller to the uh, Raspberry Pi. So the difference will be the ones which are being added. So for me, it's ACM1 and ACM2. So out of these two, I'm using ACM1. So that is the one uh, which is here. And my USB connection is the one which is here. And this uh, UDP 192.168.0.5 port 14550 is the uh, IP address and the port of my ground station. Now, this is my drone, in fact, right? So this Raspberry Pi is my drone. Now, my laptop is my ground station. My laptop's local network's uh, IP address is 192.168.0.5. Now, I'm not using my local network uh, when I'm uh, flying my uh, drone. So when I'm out of the uh, local network, I will have to assign a static IP address for my ground station. It does not have to be laptop. It can be anything. So I have to uh, assign a, a static IP address. However, here, since I'm connected to the local network right now, so my IP address is this one. So even if I disconnect from the uh, local network, still the laptop will keep this IP address. Because of that, I'm using this IP address. So if you want to find your IP address, you can just type in, in your command prompt, you can type IP config in a, a Windows machine or uh, IF config in a Linux machine and find out the IP, IP address belongs to your uh, ground station. And if you don't have an IP address, you can assign an IP address, a static IP address you can assign. Uh, so those things you can find out uh, from the internet, YouTube, or even chat GPT, Gemini, or very easily. So I'm not going to discuss how to do those things. Now you have to know the IP address of your ground station. So you just type the IP address. And 14550 is the standard uh, port to which uh, the the ground station's application Q ground control is connected. However, if you want, you can change it, right? At the Q ground control configuration, you can change it. I'm not gonna explain it right now at this particular point. So we will use the standard port that is 14550. So when I, right now, if you look at the Q ground control, your communication is lost, right? Now, I will, go to my Raspberry Pi and run my flight control. So in fact, what, what I do here is I'm uh, 
running my mail proxy when i run mail proxy it routes the packets from the uh, flight controller into the particular address i have given here now you can see this is not ready because like the, I have not connected my Raspberry Pi or the flight controller to the actual drone structure. And there are a lot of uh, pre-flight checks being done. So those checks are not satisfied without the battery attached or without uh, some other uh, things attached. That is why this is not ready. However, the connection is there. So here I can see I have like two connections here. One uh, UDP link connection. This is my local network connection because I'm already connected to the local network. This uh, Raspberry Pi is connected to the local network for me to uh, access the Raspberry Pi uh, through VNC Viva. That's why this connection is there. And at the same time, we have the SI key radio connection through this COM66 is in fact my uh, this connection to the antenna. So I'm connected through that one as well. Now what I'm going to do is since my Raspberry Pi side is uh, done, I'm going to disconnect my uh, local network from my Raspberry Pi. So for example, if you look at this Raspberry Pi, I have this uh, local network connection. I will disconnect that. So once I disconnect that, my one of my uh, communication links says uh, switching to the secondary link. So my primary link has been my local connection. Now my local connection is lost. So I'm moving on to my secondary link. That is SIK radio. Now I am connect connected only through my telemetry radio, right? So I am connected to telemetry radio. I have no connection to my Raspberry Pi anymore. So if, you, if I go on this one, so I don't have a connection, right? So I can't do anything here right? so because I have lost my connection to the local network. However, now Raspberry Pi and the ground station is connected via this SIK uh, telemetry radio, right? So I, I can't see any uh, GPS uh, connection here because now my flight controller is inside the building because of that there is no proper uh, connection to the GPS. However, now you can see the connection is being made through these two antennas. So these are the ones which are making the connection. So ultimately what will happen is this stuff, this is the Raspberry Pi, the flight controller and the antenna, this will be mounted at the uh, drone structure, which will fly the drone. And this is my ground station antenna and my ground station is in fact this particular application that you can see. You can even use a Raspberry Pi to run this ground station so that it will be much more portable. Probably at the end, I will do something like that. So for now, this is how the connection is being made. Now I have shown you the figure of the connection uh, between the Raspberry Pi or the drone and the ground station. And I have shown you how that is being done uh, using my uh, laptop's connection to the uh, Raspberry Pi as well. So I will connect my Raspberry Pi back again and we will connect to the Raspberry Pi uh, through VNC Viver. Right, so in fact, the connection is gone. So I will have to uh, close this connection and open it again. Right, so we'll go to VNC. So this is the connection. So this is the Raspberry Pi. I have the connection back again. And if we look at uh, the ground station, now I can see both connections are up back again. And uh, I can even go to my uh, simulator. And if I want to run a simulator, I can run a simulator as well in parallel with the actual flight controller inside the uh, Raspberry Pi, but I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I will do a separate video on uh, how these uh, simulations are being done. I think I have done a couple of videos regarding simulators. I will done, do a 
detailed video on the simulations. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I just wanted to explain how this is being uh, done for someone who want to really uh, do this on his or her own. And I hope uh, now it is clear with my previous video on how to install the uh, Mavlink and Mavproxy onto Raspberry Pi and this video on how the commands being used to uh, do this. Uh, let me see if I can find the exact uh, model of the flight controller that I am using. Okay, the assembly guide of the development kit of this uh, drone. So that is, in fact, this one. This is Holybro X500. So it is Holybro X500 uh, version 2 assembly. Uh, it is this uh, uh, drone development kit. So the flight controller is the flight controller which which comes with that one. So I think it's a, a PX4 flight controller. Yeah. So I will try to uh, write more details in the description, which will be useful if someone want to uh, buy one of these uh, development kits. But this development kit, kit is a bit expensive. However, uh, you can do a lot of things using this one than a cheaper one. Okay, thank you very much.